in every crisis, new issues emerge. We don't even understand yet the full magnitude of the crisis we're living through right now. As I said, greatest healthcare crisis in a century, greatest economic crisis in 80 years could end up being the greatest economic crisis in the history of the United States. So we're dealing with something. There's no roadmap for this, and things keep happening that we learn from, and whole new realities emerge that we have to deal with. So here's one that our healthcare leadership is now seeing and are very worried about, and we need to act on it together. And this is something you can act on, particularly parents, grandparents, you can act on this. Right now, the issue is vaccinations. Not the vaccine we hope for with the coronavirus, just the everyday vaccinations that kids get to keep them safe. The vac vaccination rate in this city, this is striking, the vaccination rate in this city has been falling during this crisis. And the sheer magnitude of it has become clear to us in the last few days. The reasons are obvious. The doctor's offices have been closed in so many cases. Families are staying home. Uh, we've had to focus on the most urgent needs in healthcare throughout. It makes sense that even parents, grandparents, other guardians, family members who wanted to get a child vaccinated might not have known where to turn or might have been hesitant to go out and get it done given everything else going on. So our health department looked at the citywide vaccination rates for our children, looked at the number of vaccine doses administered and compared the period from March 23rd, when this crisis had really gone into high gear, to May 9th. So about six weeks. Compared that period of time this year to the same period last year, and what we found was quite shocking and troubling. The number of vaccine doses administered over that period this year versus last year, for kids in the category two years old or younger, there's been a 42% drop in the number of vaccinations. For kids older than two years old, and this is shocking, a 91% drop in vaccinations. I'll give you a comparison. The same six week period of time, last year, 2019, almost 400,000 doses were administered in this city. In the six week period this year, fewer than 150,000. So something has to be done immediately to address this, and we intend to work with parents and families to do that right now. And let me explain why. The vaccines that, per, for example, prevent respiratory illnesses in our kids, present, uh, prevent a disease like pneumonia, that is important anytime. We never want to see our or any one of our children in danger. We never want to see a child threatened by respiratory disease any year. We never want to see a child get pneumonia any year. But if that were to happen this year, it comes with greater dangers. A child who gets one of these diseases is likely to need to be hospitalized, and they're likely to be more susceptible to contracting COVID. We know that anybody with a pre-existing condition can be more vulnerable to COVID. So having pneumonia or respiratory disease makes that child both more susceptible to contracting COVID and more vulnerable to the effect of COVID. And we're all watching this very troubling new syndrome, MISC, we don't want to see any child contract COVID. So the pieces, unfortunately, start to fit together in a way that should cause parents real concern. An unvaccinated child at greater threat of contracting a disease that could then put them at greater threat of contracting COVID. On top of that, that combination is dangerous in and of itself, also brings up the link between COVID and MISC. We don't want to see any of that happen to any child. So, the bottom line to all parents, all family members out there, get your child vaccinated. We're in a much better situation than we were. Go back to when we started looking at this data, the, the slice of data we took goes back to March 23rd. The reality, March 23rd versus today, thank God, night and day, in terms of what's going on with our healthcare system and our city. So now is the time to get your child vaccinated. 
This is essential work. Getting your child vaccinated is essential work. Getting your child vaccinated is a reason to leave your home. And whatever it takes to get your child to that vaccination, it's worth it. So we also have to remember this is for your child and it's for everyone because once one child gets sick, it can spread to the next child. So we have to make sure we get ahead of this. You do not need to go to a hospital facility to get a vaccination for your child. So if anyone is worried about going to that kind of setting, there's other alternatives for sure. Free vaccinations are available at over a thousand New York City facilities in the Vaccines for Children program. Health and Hospitals is offering vaccinations at all of its clinics, 70 clinics around the city. So to make an appointment, you go to 844-NYC-4NYC. So that's the number 4NYC. Again, 844-NYC-4NYC. Call, make an appointment right away. If you, or if you have your own doctor that you can get done with, that's great too. But let's protect our kids and protect each other by making sure all our children are vaccinated. Okay.